And welcome back to Pokemon Team Creation Series. And the, uh, today's Pokemon Team Creation Series the question is, what is the Pokemon team of Gohan from Dragon Ball Z? This comes to us from Eric. And Gohan actually turned out to be pretty tricky. There are a couple things that clearly stand out, and we'll obviously get to one of the big ones in just a second. <clears throat> but when you get past the obvious, Beast, Gohan, maybe something to do with Great Saiyan, uh, mar some a fighting type to represent the martial arts background. Once you get past that, it's like, wow, there actually isn't a lot to this guy. He's nice. He doesn't like to fight. He's he kind of got weaker because he stopped fighting. Uh, he got to school. He got married and had a kid. But so did a lot of characters. He's a good. He's a protective dad. I guess like, there's actually not a lot there. So let's let's actually break it down. So let's get. Let's get the obvious one out of the way. And it's so cool that they finally added official artwork to Cerebi so I can get a little good art of Annihilate instead of doing the freaking Dex pick I was using the whole time. Annihilate is the first mod that clearly went on the team. Ever since this guy came out, all the Dragon Balls of years out there have clearly been going, wow, they literally made Beast go on <laughs> into a Pokemon. I mean, look, Gohan has died before. In fact, he's died at least. Ooh, how many times has he died now? I know he died against Boo. Um, actually, you know, he only died the one time. When I, I have to think on it a little bit, but, I mean, if you take out his future death in the Android saga, obviously, but he only died the one time. Uh, but still, his rage literally transcended his body and turned him into Annihilate. That is the or that is the origin of Annihilate. Gohan's rage transcended his body and gave him the beast form. The red, literally red eyes, pale, of like, silver gray hair. This this is the perfect mod for it to be on that team. Uh, I really should go and start playing my second game of Scarlet at some point. I haven't filled up my decks yet just because I don't have any access to anyone who... Uh, I don't I do not do the online thing usually, so that's kind of why I don't fill out my decks completely. But I'm missing just a Maridon, a Passimian. Uh, I still need to evolve a Bisharp into a King Gambit and a Quagsley. Uh, I'm just missing those guys. That's it. Anywho, but yeah, Annihilate was the first obvious one on the team. And looking at this team I made, except for one other one, he's kind of the strongest on the team. So I also want, I knew I had to get, get a couple mod that represented the bookworm aspect of him. Uh, the the nerd, the intellectual, the scholar. And two came to mind. One was Dottler. I did not want to go Orbeetle because I didn't think this team needed all uh, completely fully evolved Pokemon on every not every team's going to get fully evolved Pokemon. That's just the way it kind of plays out. But I didn't want to go with um, its previous evolution, which I am blanking on the name of that uh, mod's name at the moment. Uh, what is that mod's name? Uh, some, something bug? Um, one second. It's, it's just bugging me. I wanted to remember what the, I want to know what the name of that mod is. Uh... And I know I'm going to, I'm going to be like, oh God, it was that. Uh, that's where, all right, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, where are you? Find my, uh, Blip Bug. That was it. Blip Bug. I knew Bug was in there. I didn't want to go Blip Bug. It just seemed too, literally too on the nose. But I didn't want to go Orbeetle because Orbeetle is not really so much as a, it's a psychic type. But it's not really a bookish worm kind of mod. It's basically kind of a flying UFO in the shape of a, uh, of a ladybug kind of. So Dottler, which is based kind of like on Dottler radar, a radar dish kind of. Uh, this I, this one I liked a bit more. Uh, it's still got the glasses. It's still kind of nerdy, so it kind of works. The other one I went with was Oranguru. This is because it represents the ape uh, heritage of him, the half Saiyan ape thing. Granted, with Saiyans, they're actually monkeys, whereas this is an orangutan, which is a primate, which is different. But still, uh, it's a very intelligent mon, very peaceful, generally speaking, and it's even been shown to use Pokeballs uh, occasionally. So it, this one I just liked. It's it just seemed like a very chill on to be on his team. After that, though, it got tricky. And I actually... I ha I swapped out a Mon on this team because I... I had something that... Re another Mon that represented something that Go uh, like Gohan might find useful to use in, like, his day-to-day -day, uh, studies or whatever. But I chose... I swapped it with something else and I realized I didn't include that in his team and I needed something that represented another aspect of his team. But before that, I, uh, I decided to add a Tyrogue on the team. A reason for Tyrogue is actually very simple. I want something to represent kind of Gohan at his initial phase of the um, 
in, in the series where it was very weak, but had so much potential to go a uh, grow. And tie rogues are very, have a lot of potential. They had a three split uh, stage split evolution line that is very, uh, is very different depending on the line he takes. This also can be a reference to Gohan's choice to be a learned scholar, not a true, mar not a martial artist in the same sense as his dad. So he had multiple paths to take, but he still had that potential either way. So I like having a Tyrogue on the team represent that. Also, in terms of wanting to represent some aspects, I did want something that kind of represented that burning power and rage and the potential, the weak having the potential beyond just Tyrogue. So I went with Wishiwashi. Now this kind of goes in several ways. One, base form Wishiwashi is the weakest F, but school form Wishiwashi is one of the is a beast of a mon. So I like the idea of that beast coming out, that power unleashed. But just like in Dragon Ball Z, if you take too many hits, you start to use your power up too much, you can revert back to or lose your power and be weaker by the end of it. That's kind of what happens with school form. Also, I like the idea of something that represented the ape transformations, because Gohan did transform into an ape more than once in the series. Uh, Goku did it more than once also, but Gohan... Uh, we're talking about Go oh, Gohan here. And Wishiwashi represents the idea of transforming into a giant creature or unleashing your true power, the hidden power in you. So, yeah, I liked, uh, I liked Wishy Washy for that. But last, and certainly not least, we have the most important question ever asked on this series. What is the Pokemon of Gohan? No, 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 not Gohan. Nay, Gohan's true form, his true power. Nay, the identity he has now long since declined to embrace. What is the Pokemon that represents the great Saiyan Man? And with, fortunately, Gen 9 gave us a superhero, Palafin. Uh, Pal uh, look, Palafin is the one that makes the most sense. It is literally a superhero. I really do not like the design that much. I actually kind of hate it. But I, honestly, you could have literally given me the Neospatian Aqua Dolphin to just uh, turn it a little less humanoid, maybe. And that would have been a perfect evolution for it. Regardless, uh, Palafin, look, Finn is in, or sorry, Palafin's non-hero form, it's a, it, it's just a standard dolphin. He looks like standard, mild-mannered Gohan was just walking down the street when suddenly he saw terrorists attacking the building. He went to an alley and transformed into the great Palafin Saiyaman! Uh, and yeah, and power-wise, this is the only one that I think actually, if I'm not mistaken, surpasses Annihilate in terms of uh, base stat total, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hold on one second. Let me get uh, Annihilate up here again for its base stat total. Its base stat total, if I remember correctly here, is... Uh, no, let's see here. There we go. Move, move right along. Dug -a -dung, dug -a -dung. Uh, there you are. So yeah, his base stat total, Annihilate's base stat total, if you would stop moving, please. Uh, 80, 80, 240, 320, uh, 25. Um, it's about like 505? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, 20? No, it's uh, no, it's about um, one, 545. Sorry, it's about 545. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Annihilate's full power. Uh, which is, it's solid. It's uh, about, it's almost as strong as a lot of starters, which have higher than average base stats as well. Uh, Palafin's hero form, however, uh, let's see, 200, 100, 360. Um, if I remember correctly, was 360. You know, it, yeah, it actually goes into the pseudo legendary level of power because it's a whole entire base stat total in this form, if I am not mistaken comes in at about uh bu -bu give me your base stat total uh, 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 uh 650 it's actually stronger than any pseudo legendary out there base stat total wise and a fair few of uh nearly coming in at true legendary stats most legendaries these days now have about 670 as their base stats so yeah palafin is and hell even palafin in just its base stats of all form is actually not terrible 457 is not entirely that bad uh it's not god it's not amazing but you don't we wouldn't use a palafin anyway for that so yeah it's uh it is it is true here is the power of gohan incarnate so how balanced is this team 
not the most balance I've ever created. Uh, you got two Bowen right on the right off the bat that are weak to water with both Palafin and Grass with both Palafin and Wishy Washy. You have two Mon, three Mon technically weak to Ghost. Well, actually, no, only two Mon because the Ranguru is a normal type as well, so that gives it immunity to Ghost uh, and a bigger resist and a resistant to fighting. Uh, unfortunately, you do also have. A mon, two mon that are weak to dark. The fighting type of Annihilate does counter that a bit, as does the bug of Dottler. But you also have two unevolved Pokemon, or only partially evolved Pokemon on the team. What this team is strong against, though, is that this team would basically be very easily, to, you know, get through most fire type teams, most, um, uh, most rock type. Oh, rock types are screwed against this team, 100%. Uh, ghost, it's there. There is one ghost type on the team, uh, which allows it to have immunity to both side, normal and fighting. Uh, it's not the worst team. If you were to fully evolve the Dotler and Tyrogan and anything, it might be a little bit more balanced because you'd have an extra psychic type there. But that's not what's happened here. So yeah, ultimately this is the team I have for Gohan. What do you think though? Do you like this team? Do you disagree with this team? Let me know in the comments below. What would you do different if you would do anything different? But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know the review of it at some point. And hit that bell if you want to be notified. I'll catch you guys later.